Hi, I'm Danny Karen, your lovable lawyer in front of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ahead of this year's Rock Hall induction ceremony, and it's a big class, big acts. Jay-Z, Tina Turner, Foo Fighters, and more. What do all these acts share in common? They hate getting ripped off. Now, what was the most famous musical ripoff? We all remember it back in the 90s. Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. Remember that opening iconic bass line? Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. It was a dead ringer for Queen and David Bowie's Under Pressure, and they knew it. So they sued Vanilla Ice for violation of the Copyright Act of 1976. Now, to win their case after showing they owned a valid copyright, which they did, they had to prove two things. One, that Vanilla Ice had access to their music. Well, Under Pressure was a huge worldwide hit, access was easy. Second can be a little trickier. They had to show that the, uh, the songs were substantially similar. Sometimes you need music experts to show it, but not here. Everybody knew that those bass lines were identical. So Queen and David Bowie won, and they were entitled to royalties from the sales of Ice Ice Baby. Now, whether you're an artist or just a fan like me, you know, ripping off somebody's music is no way to get yourself into the Rock and Hall of Fame, so pay attention. It'll serve you well. Now, if you want to learn more about legal wellness, I invite you to join me at yourlovablelawyer.com. Until next time, I'm Danny Karen, your lovable lawyer.